In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. If I may use human terms to help your natural weakness, as once you put your bodies at the service of vice and immorality, so now you must put them at the service of righteousness for your sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you felt no obligation to righteousness. And what did you get from this? Nothing but experience that, that now make you blush, since that sort of behaviour ends in death. Now, however, you have been set free from sin. You have been made slaves of God, and you get a reward leading to your sanctification and ending in eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death. The present given by God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy, Happy the, the man, man who has placed, placed his trust in the Lord. Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy, Happy is the man, man who has placed, placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy, Happy the, the man, man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy, Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. The Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. I was going to sneeze and it's gone. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to bring fire to the earth and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive. And how great is my distress till it is over. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. The father divided against the son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, Daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I was reading online that apparently the Pope has declared tomorrow a day for peace when we pray for peace in Israel, Gaza and in the West Bank. Um, I'll, what I'll do, I'll paste more, because I can't remember what he said, so um, I'll paste more on the Facebook page. So if you go to 21st Century Priest, I'll put some more information there. But I think it culminates with an hour's prayer vigil at 6pm in St Peter's Square, which is presumably is Roman time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Sheila? I think so. Yeah. Sheila thinks that's right, so two heads are better than one. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you soon.